When playing a racer game, what do you use? A wheel or a controller? If you said controller, you're incorrect. You shouldn't use a controller at all times. You should always use a wheel when playing. And I'm going to tell you why. Because in this video, I'm going to tell you the five main points to why if your racing game supports a wheel, you should most likely use it. Starting with immersion. Before we go into what actually what what immersion i'm gonna talk to you about how you get the feeling of a car from a steering wheel and from a controller controllers have vibration motors in the in the controller so when you go over a bump or when you brake quite hard it shakes but in a racing wheel you have motors which are meant which through different components or no components make it so your pushes your wheel in the different way or make simulates going over a bump or going over a curb or everything you can quite imagine this leads to them being much more detailed than what the standard uh, controller is because the problem with controllers are you you don't feel exactly what they're doing so when you let's say you are going to try and drive blind through for example here guanajuato in forza horizon 5 you driving blind you put on a blindfold and, a, and take your controller in your hands what do you feel when going over a curb when you go over dirt or when you hit the tree you all all times feel vibrations and it's always the same type of vibrations you feel. Maybe not as strong, but you always feel a constant, you feel a vibration. Whilst if you go put on a blindfold and go on the steering wheel, you will always be able to tell the difference between, oh, now I'm currently going over stones. Oh, now I'm going, I've gone over a curb. Oh, and, oh, I've hit, the, oh, I've hit the building. It's always this best option. And the most obvious point of the ball, a steering wheel, is round. So when driving around with the steering wheel which is round, it feels like you're in the car. Because let's say you're driving in this view, where in the bonnet view, maybe like this. When driving here with the wheel, it feels like you're actually driving the car. Whilst if you were driving with a controller, it would just feel like it will feel really arcadey, even though if you may play a set of Corsa with the controller. It feels arcadey, but it is one of the best simulators around. Which, when talking about the set of Corsa, leads me to my second point. S skill. And s what I mean by skill is, when driving with a, with a controller, there will always be a limit to how quickly you can go, because you can't do so detailed movements, you can't do throttle control, you can't do brake control as well as on the steering wheel, which means that even how hard you try and push, you will be limited with what you have. Whilst with the steering wheel, anyone who has a steering wheel and pedals can uh, do a world record left turn. And how do I know, do that, know that? Well, I had a Frostmaster TX wheel, which is on the cheaper end or the low end of steering wheels yet i have done i have one of the quickest times around a rally stage in the wrc9 and wrc10 when driving on a steering wheel you can do more precise movements with your feet and with your with your hands because if driving on a control with the controller your hands do everything and if you want to try to do a precise movement it will not go well for you because you will try and control a drift or control a spin and you'll just become get into a worse situation i both i love the sting wheel even if a game like i set the corsa from our factor 2 to i set the corsa to forza horizon 5 i always use a wheel which also goes on to my next point if you, it doesn't matter if your game is very arcade game like Need for Speed, or if it is, or if it is uh, a set of Corsa. When driving with the wheel, 
if you get if you drive all of these different modes with different physics you will learn how to handle the car in different ways and when you learn more things about how to handle your car you're easy adapt it will be easily adaptable and you can transfer your your the things you know from different in different ways because from if i remember Gamer Muscle, a big streamer and sim racing YouTuber, he has he can drive a car easily in real life because he's driving the a simulator and he doesn't even have a driving license. And then Jimmy Broadbent, one of the largest people on YouTube to do with uh, sim racing, he told he said on a, in a YouTube video that he learned heel and toe which is a type of shifting in with a manual car he learned it from sim racing and now he uses it in its in his mazda i believe it is but in his manual car so even though you might not want to pay a lot for a steering wheel you can pay a few thousand uh, like a thousand or two and get a decent wheel which also leads on to my penultimate point the wide range when driving with when looking to buy a controller they all are very basic let's do this controller for example it's a xbox controller it has it has up it has this joystick joystick around here this one here a few buttons here a few buttons there and it has the triggers there it all they all have a limited amount and if you buy want to buy one with isn't a limited amount you have to pay sort of the same price as a steering wheel but with the steering wheel and the base and everything if you might want to go for a low end you can still be competitive as i said and the low ends are also quite good if if they have force feedback you can easily be be quick one of the world's quickest in a game because with the controller as i said before you will be always be limited because of the buttons and and if you want to look at the more expensive versions not from frostmaster with well you can also look at frostmaster they made ferrari replicas steering wheels of the formula one team and those have a ton of buttons more than what's ever been on a controller so if you and these controllers buttons on the con on the yeah on the steering wheels you can be used them for anything and if you're mainly on a pc they can each be programmable for a different thing which means that if you want to let's say if you buy a cheap wheel compared to a more expensive steering wheel and now i'm talking just about the steering wheel not the wheelbase it, it, it's mainly just better quality on buttons and more buttons on the more expensive one but you can still be competitive it's just the functionality but most steering wheels like the one i'm using currently has more buttons than a top-end uh, controller and the controllers yeah as i said they're limited which is really hard and the functionality and functionality is also my last point as i said before a few of the bigger sim racers on youtube have said that they learned a lot from driving in sim racing with the steering wheel if you're going with the controller you will never learn how to handle a car how to drive the car and how you can push a car the only way for you to learn these things is either going around driving IRA in real life and doing them or buying a steering wheel and I'm also on I'm not I can't have a driving license in my at my age in Sweden which means I can't do any driving outside so when driving here I can really drive and try to be better maybe better than in this video but as I said before I may have one of the cheaper wheels, but I can still be competitive. And sim and simulators are also used for the pros. 
JPF might fail. Oh, I will never learn how to drive better. It will won't happen. Well, Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen. Two of the quickest drivers in the world use simulators to enhance their skills. And even Max Verstappen, after the controversial Silverstone crash he had, he, he said he put on he put stiffer dampening level on his pedals so he, he, more, he gets more of the feeling of a Formula 1 car so he recovers quicker. And as you see, a lot of these top drivers use steering wheels and pedals for real life use. So it really helps them and it can really help you even if you are not a driver or if you are a driver. Either way, it can really help you. What I'm saying is, if you're playing a racing game, I really believe you should use a steering wheel because most games I've played have decent enough force feedback for you to play, except the Crew 2. There you can use a controller because controllers make it feel like more you're not you're not thinking about actually playing the game you're just oh chilling i'm just like you're in an arcade feeling like yeah arcade feeling Whilst if you have a steering wheel it's more serious and more learning because you can use these skills anytime go go track in the sim in an arcade game or whilst driving anywhere which uses a steering wheel you can play and the controller where is the only place you can use them? Well, at home. Sting wheels are universal from Formula 1 to me. Big difference in skill level in there, but we both still use sting wheels. So after you have seen this video, I really hope you get interested in buying a sting wheel. Doesn't have to, and I mean the whole kit. I'm just talking about using a sting wheel. So, after this, you have seen this video, I really hope it for you to be interested in a steering wheel. Because anyone who uses a steering wheel will not automatically be better, but you will easily get up to par to what you used to, what you used to be on a controller. And controllers, as I said before, can never be on the level of a steering wheel. You can see, look at some comparison videos on YouTube about comparing a controller to wheel on certain games always better but if you want to prove me wrong and you want to say your uh, argument which i'm fully fully up for because i love discussing comment down below but until then i've been racing legend you've been my amazing guest thank you for watching goodbye